is one of the little black ones that eats with her. These two aren't as interested in eating, but they will. I need to mark one of them with like some lipstick on their head so I know who's who. What, sweetie? <laughs> Let me just mark them real quick with this pink lipstick. Hopefully that lasts. You can see the little bit of pink lipstick on the top of his head so I can see who's who and really confirm that two of them in particular are more attached. Hi, honey. <laughs> yes. What, do you want to be held? Okay. I opened the door to kind of let her out. She doesn't really want to go outside anymore. So yeah. You want loves? Meanwhile, this guy's mad at me. Hi, honey. Hi, my favorite boy. Do you know how bad I feel that you are mad at me? Do you know how bad I feel? I know you spend all your days out there, sweetie. I'm sorry. Not even gonna start the purr purse for me, huh? Okay. Really sweetie. Come on, sweetie. just fed them their second or third meal of the day. I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's their third wet food. That is supplemented a little bit to make sure they stay healthy and on that plate over there and they all kind of eat from it. They all do, but there's always one black kitty that's eating with her when she eats. The day has turned out to be pretty. Squirrel. Now let's check on my OG boys. Puppy, I put on classical music for you, and I sprinkled your scratch pad with fresh catnip. My spoiled, oh-so-loved nugget, you're the best. Let's see what your brother's doing. Oh, you're doing okay. I just realized the polarization happening here with the classical music and these two living their best life. Meanwhile, the single mama is just doing the best she can. a good mama. Hi, sweetie. You're such a good girl. Yes, you are, sweetie. As per the suggestion of my go-to fostery friend, Brittany, who is amazing, I love you if you see this, I'm gonna get like puppy pee pads because they seem to be making it into their litter maybe one out of three times. Oh no, no, they're missing their litter one out of three times. Pretty good ratio, but it would just make cleanup so much easier if I could put some, some pee pads down. It's just a wise thing to do. So thank you, Brittany, for that suggestion and everything else that you're suggesting. Bet you're happy to be in here today too, because it is rainy. Squirrel time. All right. I will check back in with you in a little bit, sweetie. They had their dinner. We had a slight poop casualty on the pee pads, thankfully. They're still learning. They just had a crazy act of playtime. Those are the two black kittens and happened to pry this one. Hi, Blue. 
You sleepies. Oh my gosh, she's a koala cat. She, he, they. That is the status where we are right now. All right, doing my last check-in. Uh, so getting a little dark. Hey, buddy boo. Here are all the babies. This one just got done feasting. This other one's still going. Betty is doing her thing on that wet food. And Blue, he just wants his mommy's boob. It's about 9 p.m. The family is doing well. <laughs> and yes, learn how to eat your food, little one. Here, eat food foods. You're doing okay. So I'm gonna call it a night. Yay! Good job! Whatever you're doing. Oh, you're just cleaning yourself. Well, whatever, good job! Blue has a daddy who has claimed her him. Cutie pie, little koala cat. But I'm hoping that Blue can get to go home with, with a bonded sibling as a bonded pair. I, I would love to see at least two of them go home as a bonded pair. It's so good for them. If you have cats, you know how, how good it is for them. Good job, Betty. Oh, you left some. You're a baby yourself, let's be honest. Sorry it's so dark, guys. That's why I didn't want to do this last update even later. But yes, official day one, success. Maybe I'll do kittens in quarantine for a day or two. All right, say bye, Betty.